We're now about 15 minutes away from launch. Coming up on a planned hold and the count, let's go back to Mike and Josh in the control center for an update. How's it going over there, guys? Hey, Tori, we have some uh, breaking news to pass on. Unfortunately, uh, as you heard during the weather briefing, there was quite a bit of discussion about upper level winds. Upper level winds are a concern because of the uh, safety of the rocket after it leaves the launch pad. You want to ensure that the rocket is not buffeted by severe winds, that there's no wind shear or anything that could uh, be a concern for the safety of the rocket. And of course, it's important, NOAA JPSS-1 payload. Uh, managers have assessed the weather the upper level winds and have determined that uh, between now and the predicted liftoff time there would not be any possibility of improving that forecast so with six minutes and 42 seconds left uh, on the T0 count and 16 minutes and 42 seconds prior to the planned liftoff launch director Tom Heater informed launch conductor Scott Barney. Scott, Scott Barney, sorry, I was listening to something in my ear, uh, that we are calling the count uh, for today. We have scrubbed for the day. Uh, they will continue to assess the situation for tomorrow, although, as you heard, upper-level winds look as if they are going to be fairly consistent for the next couple of days. Managers will uh, convene a meeting and discuss precisely when the next launch opportunity will be. However, at this time, we're setting up for a 24-hour turnaround and a uh, potential launch Tomorrow at the same time, 1.47 a.m. Pacific time. 